Okay, so total camera distance is eight centimeters. Oh, this looks more like four centimeters for interpupillary distance. Okay. Four. Major after. Probably three seven? to seven. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, it's about four. Okay, which is smaller than average. So I should look maybe larger than average, or you should feel smaller than average. I like that. Right? Yeah, the, the, that's interesting. When they're smaller, you'll feel like this is the bigger fractal. Um, okay, let's increase. I feel like that's nine centimeters total. Is that natural? Maybe a little more. Yeah, that's probably about natural. But this should be your average stereoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get bigger than natural. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, so it should be hard to focus when I'm close now. Just to be far away. Keep going. Let's go all the way. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm just going to start going faster. 25, 26, 30. 35, 40, 45. Yeah. Oh, we're probably going to want to try cropping the views of both eyes also if we actually want to be like 50. That's all of it. 55. <laughs> 60. 65. All the things. Cauliflower. <laughs> Cauliflower. Okay, so right now they should be too wide to see me if I'm here. But if we move this and angle it in, we should get some sort of weird, unnatural view. And here's where we're going to want to move the ruler so All that. Right, let's start again. All right, so now we're back at about average interpupillary distance. Um, we're gonna test some different angles. So if I angle outward at all, I guess we'll test this more, flip it around. Um, but this should kind of ruin everything because your eyes are diverging. So we start, this is at zero degrees. Focus should be good. Uh, and now I'm gonna increase it this is about five degrees. Ten degrees. This is so like unscientific. <laughs> uh, First tests are just approximations. Fifteen degrees. Uh, this should be closing in. Wanting to see things that are really close. Um, Twenty degrees a point where you want to be able to focus on something really close and really cool. So, oh, there's a little bug on this. Um, there, star of the show. Okay, 25 degrees. I have no idea how close or how far things are going to want to be. Thirty degrees. This is starting to get quite dramatic. Very close broccoli. Well, from there, you shouldn't be able to see. But it's funny because I have no idea if that's going to be like the coolest thing ever, or like I can't even see. My eyes are crazy. Uh, Thirty-five degrees. Oh, there's a bug. Aphid. Is that an aphid? I don't know. It's green. Seems to only have four legs. Um, I 
Okay, 40 degrees. And again. Does it work close? Does it work far? Where is our bug? Uh oh. Oh, there he is. I think you're gonna start to see the other camera. Uh, yeah, probably a fact. I guess we're kind of rotating around one camera instead of putting them together. Um, because we're rotating around one eye as, as the center of our circle instead of like both in towards uh, a center between them. Because that would be harder to measure on our current protractor setup. Although, when we try it here, let's try... Eh, Alright, let's just go another. Okay, 45 degrees. This should be really messed up. Unless you really want to see broccoli. Oh look, there's another little bugs. That may or may not be an aphid. And... Wash your broccoli before you eat it. Or at least cook it. Do some protein. 55... 60... Yeah, so this is like really close. 90... This is about 90 actually as I turned it off of the protractor distance. Um, all right, so now the test is, we keep it, oh. <laughs> um, so, now I'm gonna move the eyes wide apart. This is about, what's the measure? 15 mm. to 38. 38, which is, you know, do some math to that later. <laughs> okay. We still don't know how this will look, presumably. If we crop it in a little closer, you feel like I'm a little smaller than usual. And now let's angle in. So now we're angling, I guess the center will be, between the cameras is going to be the center of the circle, and both cameras are on the circle. Um, so, 10 degrees. Do you want to move them in together, or do you just want to move this one in along the protractor? Um, it actually doesn't matter, and it'll be easier to measure this way. Okay. The last one it might have measured. Oh, we killed it accidentally. Oh, well, there's more. Um, okay, 10 degrees, 20 degrees. 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, this is, it should be kind of weird, Don't worry. Nothing's over. Yeah. <laughs> um, 70. I can't wait to watch this. <laughs> the whole thing is probably just gonna be like, what are we doing? This makes no sense. 80 degrees. I'm interested to see if it's different, like it looks different to each of us. Mmm. Like if it works better for one person's brain than another person's brain. Right, because in theory, you should be getting a view as if you were looking really close at this broccoli. <laughs> like your eyes are kind of close and angling inward, except actually you don't need to angle your eyes inward. Oh, that's a good point. If you actually angled your eyes inward, you would get completely different. I don't know. You mean like if you tried to cross your eyes? Yeah, well when you try and cross your eyes and look at something, you're getting like really different views of it. Although actually even that is not as much as this. Probably none of these really, like 90 degrees is ridiculous. Um, okay, back to zero. Everything should be in focus. Let's try diverging a little bit. Uh, well, we don't have a protractor on that. That's about 10 degrees. Diverging. Um, still with the super wide eyes. Uh, that'll be about 20 degrees. Harder to focus. Thirty degrees. Forty? I don't know. 
<laughs> More than the last one. More than the last one. We will increase slowly. That looks like a 120 degree angle on the outside. But that should be causing lots of problems for your stereo vision. Except you should be able to see like way over really there. to try let's get a little bit of oh let's, let's just try moving in natural eye distance and diverging a little bit that's something like 10 degrees or 20 degrees uh, I don't know it's probably just a terrible experience to have <laughs> eyes <laughs> we're gonna get so dizzy watching this. um okay let's just do a little bit of testing on natural distance and tilt the angle a little of your eye I should be able to compensate for a tiny angle like that. That is, well, not holding it steady. This should be like 5 degrees, 10 degrees, making up angles, <laughs> 20 degrees. It sounds scientific, doesn't it? Oh yeah, totally. Uh, well, we'll come back and check it if any of this seems interesting. Um, that's a good 30 degrees. Uh, increasing this, that's like, no, maybe that's more like 30 degrees, honestly. Um, although the eyes are getting further apart now, let's scoot them in back to an average distance. Alright, it's rotating and getting farther away. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't we even need to <laughs> physically do rotations. We can rotate precise degrees in, um, in fact, we can see the angles right as we rotate it, right in Premiere, mm -hmm. if we, you know, have a video preview and rotate one. So, let's just do that instead. Uh, other things we have to try is angling up. So that's a very small angle upwards. This is maybe 20 degrees upward. Although, I'm sure my hand being unsteady, oh, let me stabilize myself. Probably. I'm gonna guess that at this point you can still make it work, but it's not gonna leave your brain happy over a long period of time. And then this should be fairly difficult. 